Amy, in just a few hours, we will learn whether crucial canine evidence will be allowed in the Nikki Burgess murder trial. News Channel 5 Sophie Nielsen Colding is outside of the courthouse this morning. And Sophie, her body was never found. So, this evidence, this canine evidence, is really crucial for the prosecution. Right, because it's the closest thing they may have to an actual body. Last month, right here at the courthouse, lawyers presented information that cadaver dogs had hit the scent of a dead body in Cannon's car in parts of Burgess's home. Now, Cannon's attorneys are saying that that cannot be counted as evidence because he's saying cadaver, there's no universal certification for cadaver dogs, so he doesn't want them considered expert witnesses. That's what a judge will be deciding today whether or not that will be allowed in the trial. Some of the more gruesome testimony, though, came from Cannon's former cellmate last month. He said Cannon told him Cannon was at Burgess's home where they argued over alimony and custody, and that is, by the way, where Burgess was last seen. Cannon allegedly told his cellmate he beat Nikki Burgess, strangled her, and then disposed of her body. Today's hearing is set for 11 o'clock right inside this building, and you can count on News Channel 5 to be there bringing you the very latest details with how this trial moves forward. Move, reporting live in Nashville, Sophie Nelson Colding, News Channel 5.